Court had. So first thing we want to draw our attention to is over here on the right hand side, anytime that you're on the schoolwork tab and you're ready to uh, get a new assignment put in, um, you want to click on this blue um, icon create and then you're going to go to schoolwork and uh, once this loads up and you'll see this four tabs along the top and one of the nice things about my big campus is you leave your mouse over any uh, tab for a period of time it will bring up where you see these bubbles here um, if you're not quite sure what it means it give you a description there so what we're going to do first is general information we know what kind of assignment you want is this a formal assignment where you want a quiz um, or a test you could do like in that survey a poll um, you know if you just want to kind of get an idea of how people feel about a topic or uh, maybe you want to um, pose a question a certain way gives you some latitude to do that I usually leave mine either as assignment or assessment um, obviously anywhere where you see the uh, in parentheses required you have to give it a title so I'm going to call this sample assignment okay if you want to provide a detailed description of what the schoolwork is for them to read you can do that there if there's any um, upfront reading or anything like that that you'd like for them to do or a website you'd like for them to visit then you would use utilize one of these down here at the bottom the library item and the drive are if you've got things stored in your library or drive over here you can access them quickly from there so um, in a previous video I will have shown you how to take a website or item and put it into your library so you can access it from here I actually recommend these three things right here uh, if you're going to be loading any type of a file or a website for your class to see so once you're done with that uh, what's important that, to note is that you have to click on the save and continue button before you can get access to these other three tabs over here so I'm going to click on save and continue and then um, now you're at a situation where you can pick and choose how you want your questions to appear so um, I've done it both ways before I've taken an assignment that I've created in a word document and I've loaded it in and the students open it they work on it they save it and they submit it I've also done it where I built questions in directly through my big campus and you just do that you just click on add a question you select the type of question that you want so if you want to create a real quick um, just informal assessment over yesterday's lecture or reading from the night before check for understanding something of that nature you may want to do something simple like a true false fill in the blank multiple choice um, you do one of those and you get to set obviously the answers and my big campus will grade that assessment for you automatically um, there are some things that you need to be aware of when you do that as far as setting the answers and whatnot um, if you want it to be more formal um, and you can do an essay or a file upload for this particular assignment I'm going to go ahead and do a file upload um, now what this means is, is that you are going to assign work for the student where they are going to create something in an external document whether it is a PowerPoint presentation that you're asking them to create or maybe you're asking them to type a five paragraph essay over something whatever it is they're creating something in an external document and they're going to have to attach that when they turn it in so what you can do here is type your sample um, directions or whatever just kind of a lead into that you may have your directions in a word document somewhere you can certainly um, put that in there as well I'll, I'll show you that so I'm just going to type um, something in here to fill this in okay so I've just typed in here a little brief description and there's all kinds of um, formatting tools up here um, about the basic things that you would have in uh, Word. Um, one thing that's important, make sure that you set your score. Um, I know that I've run into some situations before where I've created questions on my big campus and um, if you go back retroly and try to change things, sometimes it doesn't always uh, work out very well. So make sure that you set uh, your point value. So you set that. And then if you want to attach a file, uh, for the students to read like if you've got an actual assignment sheet that you've created somewhere click new file photo upload and then just go to your um, your drive wherever you have that saved okay and so um, I may if this is for a computer apps class come in here and find an assignment uh, for the students uh, we do uh, some stuff on um, computer security um, so I may just click on this okay, and this will 
you'll see it spin and load and then click save you'll see there's the word document for them um, so obviously if this were a legitimate assignment I would um, choose for them to um, I would write for them to uh, choose to open that word document and read the directions so um, now that I have that in there uh, there are some options over here where you can add standards. Um, you can do that up here through this tab as well. Uh, if you need to edit, um, go back and change point value or anything, that's in there. If you want to add another file or delete this file, that's in there as well. Okay. But essentially, uh, once you've got the assignment loaded up, you can go ahead and click Save. Now, if you happen to forget to click that Save icon and you try to leave that page, it's going to give you an error message and say, you haven't saved anything by leaving this page you're going to lose any uh, changes that you have made so you want to make sure that you um, that you do that you can see here that you can add a new question group or add a new question here so if you were building individual questions in you would just simply come back up and add a new type of question so maybe this is just part of the assignment um, if you had simple five multiple choice questions to answer before they get to this about computer security I could add those questions in here as well okay once I'm done with that, again, just to kind of show you for those of you that are core teachers, this may be of more value to you than like myself where I don't really have um, standards in here. But you can select the state um, that you're from, and then they have common core and academic standards that you can choose here. Um, just by clicking the plus arrow, it will bring out more. So if this were a math assignment, I could click on mathematics, uh, come down to the appropriate grade, and then just choose uh, the plus arrow to add and it will add the standards in over here on this side um, if it's a favorite standard of yours uh, you can add that in if it's something that you want to quickly be able to um, access so um, again that's for those of you that um, might utilize that once you are pretty much done uh, you've got all your questions in you've got the assignment set up you've got your standards attached now it's time to seed it out to the students so in order to do that you click on add new assignees and any groups that you have created would be available here okay you can also choose to send it out to individual users so if you've created a secondary assignment for somebody extra work whatever um, or maybe somebody um, wasn't in the group they moved in you haven't built them in yet um, there's a lot of different ways that that uh, you can get this to them but uh, if you click on the individual under users the group it'll bring up all the people that are in that group so I've actually had some times before where I've given an assignment out through my big campus and something has happened like you know maybe an individual student accidentally deleted or submitted before they were done uh, they need to get it reassigned uh, to them you can do that individually okay but once you choose the group click the plus sign it'll show that they're added in over here now this is really important stuff right here because if you try to go back again retroactively and change these things um, if the student has already started the assignment um, sometimes these changes don't get applied uh, to those students in the proper manner um, so again set your start date set your due date um, you can create a password um, if you're worried about having created the assignment ahead of time and that students might get into it um, I know I've created a test on my big campus before but it was just for a one-time class my eighth period class so I wasn't really worried about them getting access to it ahead of time uh, I just seeded it out to start right at the beginning of eighth hour and then at the close date with that you can set the time as well so you click on this you can set your time down here but if you're worried about that boom you can set the password there maximum submissions now um, I've had some situations already this year where students have prematurely submitted work change the number of submissions to two or three that's going to save you a lot of time because once that's maxed out you've got to reassign the whole thing back out to them again and then it just creates some issue also make sure that you check if you want to allow late submissions if you don't you don't have to click that but the students will not be able to submit work at all through that until you change that okay and you can set uh, the, the time there uh, for that uh, retake threshold will again allow you to set the number of times that the students can retake the assignment um, so sometimes you'll grade an assignment and if it's not up to par with what you want and you want them to retake it uh, you have to submit that as well um, there's some other things that you can set on here for <clears throat> assignments that are created through questions on my big campus so once you have your um, options saved here for how you want uh, this to go out to them you click save and then um, 
Once that's done, boom, the assignment has been sent out, okay? Now, next time when we come back, uh, I'm going to go through with you guys 